dollars for them. Well, with many lives on the line one year ago today, medical staff stepped up to save as many shooting victims as possible. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is live at University Medical Center with the doctor's memories from that day. Stephanie. Well, UMC here is where many of those seriously injured patients were taken that day. Doctors say they had to brace themselves for El Paso's worst mass casualty, saying dozens of patients were rushed here just within minutes after the first emergency call went out. We would have to take care of very many patients in a rapid period of time. How do I get ready to take care of uh, possibly a large number of seriously injured people all at once? Medical staff looking back at the August 3rd mass shooting and the fight to save dozens of lives. For hours, I was thinking, what do I do next? What do I do next? What do I do next? In all, UMC treated 15 victims. Trauma surgeon Susan McLean was on call that day. She says due to the extensive training, the hospital was ready to respond. I think preparation and teamwork is the, are the main two things that got us through. But she never thought they'd use that mass trauma training in the borderland. Not even a week before, I was watching uh, the news on the big um, shooting event in Gilroy, California, and I thought to myself, that's really tragic, but it'll probably never happen in El Paso. Del Sol Medical Center is the nearest trauma center to the Walmart. Just 10 months before the shootings, the hospital rehearsed a mock mass casualty incident involving multiple gunshot wounds. I can say we absolutely were prepared, and uh, I don't think that we really could have done anything better uh, for, to be ready for that day to help the citizens of El Paso. But doctors tell KTSM 9 News once the job was done and the adrenaline slowed, they mourned with the rest of us. I think we all know that what happened uh, one year ago is not reflective of the people of El Paso. I think that gave me time to reflect. I felt like it was very somber. I think that's to me when it really hit home, just how many people had been affected. Now doctors say they were proud of the El Paso community and how they rallied behind medical responders and the victims, including the hundreds of people who immediately showed up to donate blood following the tragedy. Live in South Central El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. Hi Stephanie, thank you very much.